Ottawa, the capital of Canada. Many say the visit is not worth it, as it's not so touristic. We don't agree. This city in the province of Ontario is a beautiful city, so British it seems like Europe, and offers many options, with most of the sites being in the center, making it possible to see almost everything on foot. Let's talk about 15 places and sites to visit in the city, most of them with free admission, which we did in two and a half days. First of all, you can divide Ottawa on two sides by its canal, west and east. Other attractions are in other neighborhoods, far from downtown. Let's mention it in case of each attraction where it is. 1. Parliament Hill, great postcard of the city. It contains the Parliament building and several other relevant buildings in the city. Because it's a large area, it's common to have outdoor activities here, such as festivals or even yoga. You can visit the Parliament interior, but when we went in May, it was closed, so we couldn't see it. But it's beautiful, tours are free. If it's cold, a great idea is staying around the pyre located in its center, the Centennial Flame. During the summer at night, there's a projection show in the Parliament building at night, the Northern Lights. It was spring, but we were lucky. They were testing and we were able to check it out. And the show's free! Two, the Doha. It is the official residence of the Governor General of Canada, who represents Queen Elizabeth II, head of the government and queen not only of the United Kingdom, but also of Canada. When we were at Canada, it was Julie Payette. You can't shoot inside, so I just took pictures. The tour is free and goes through several rooms in the palace. It explains the roles of the Governor General, the insignia, and much more. It's all worth it. It is free, but you need to book in advance by phone. Details in the description. Tree. Rideau Canal. It is a canal in the middle of the city with a length up to 200 kilometers. There are several tourist attractions around it. It's good to walk along its length. During the winter, it becomes the largest ice skating rink in the world. Free tour. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. It will help us a lot. 4. Fermont Chateau Laurier, a 1912 castle-like hotel on the banks of the Rideau Canal. You can stay in one of its 429 rooms or visit some public areas, which include the main hall, the restaurant and art galleries. Free entrance! 5. The National War Memorial, a memorial dedicated to the Canadians who died in several wars, including the First and Second World Wars. It symbolizes the sacrifices made by all the Canadians who died or will one day die for the country. Free public tour. 6. Notre Dame Basilica Dated from 1965, the Basilica is a national historic site in Canada. Neoclassical and neo-gothic, it's the oldest and the largest in Ottawa. It impresses both outside and inside, with its terrace ceiling. Free entrance. 7. Byward Market It's a market located in the center of Ottawa, with several open-air shops, with cheese, chocolate and of course delicious maple things. It's also where the Ottawa sign is located. It's worth taking that classic photo to show that you've been to the city. Free public tour. 8. National Gallery of Canada We didn't get into the museum, but we passed through the spider monument in front of it. It is one of the largest art museums in North America, and the entrance in 2020 was 16 Canadian dollars. 9. Major Hills Park It's a park close to the Byward Market. Quiet, good for walking and for observing the Ottawa River in the back of the Parliament. Free public tour. 10. Napian Point It's a hill with a scenic view of the city. At the top, there's a statue of the French explorer Samuel de Champlain. On the other side of the river, there's the city of Gatineau, which is in the province of Quebec, in the French part of Canada. 11. Commissioner's Park If it's spring, it's worth visiting Commissioner's Park. In May, they celebrate the Canadian Tulip Festival, which is absolutely amazing, with something like 300,000 tulips. At the festival, there are several fairs and food trucks. Free public tour. 12. Royal Canadian Mint. A great place to visit through its guided tour. It is possible to see the building from inside and understand the coin making process. There's also a shop where you can buy souvenirs, commemorative coins and where you have the opportunity to hold an original gold bar. It's kinda heavy. The tour costs six dollars. Now let's go to the restaurant recommendations. 13. Fatboy Southern Smokehouse. You can't go to Canada, not eat poutine. It's basically fried with sauce and cheese. Trust 
us its exception. Check the menu link at the description. 14. The Highlanders Pub. It's an Irish style pub in North America. It offers rock concerts and a nice atmosphere. The link to the menu is in the video description. 15. Hokkaido Sushi. We'd like to try sushi on our travels. For that, we went to the Hokkaido Sushi in Ottawa. Link to the menu in the description. Some travel tips now. How long to stay in Ottawa? We recommend two or three days in Ottawa. Don't underestimate the city. Where to stay in Ottawa? Hosting tips are in the video description. We stayed on an Airbnb in Centertown, a house with several rooms and we stayed in one of them. Link in the description. How's the weather in Ottawa? Most of the year between September and May it's cold and between November and March it's winter and it's very cold. I always suggest taking cold clothes because you never know how the unpredictable weather will be but in winter you may need special clothes because the winter is very very harsh our trip was in may 2019 and yes it was cold do you like it subscribe to the channel like the video check out our other videos you like them some of them are in portuguese but they have english subtitles 